obviously when I lost my belt, uh, the, the thing I wanted the most was to become world champion again and be back on top. I had to pick myself up from a dark place when obviously suffering my first defeat against Alicia and, and just had to really cut out the outside noise from trolls and um, everyone who had an opinion on what went wrong that night. So uh, I just got back in the gym and stripped everything back and we made a few adjustments, a few changes with the weight. It's allowed me to get the enjoyment back for boxing. I'm coming into sessions fueled and full of energy and just, just ready to learn and improve as a fighter. One, we're only human and we went through a time and a stage where like it were almost as if I become thinking she's invincible. That defeat was a bit of a reset button, but I've seen Teddy's real character and the determination on back of it. And over the past six months, she's starting to show me things that I didn't, or I questioned what were there anymore. But she's got the drive as much as she ever had, and her own vision of being an undisputed champion. And her goals and dreams are also my goals and dreams. I want to see Teddy as undisputed champion. So before the fight, I had a lot of doubters, thinking it was reckless to be jumping up so many weights. But I feel like I went out there and shown him that uh, I'm a completely different fighter and how much I was really struggling and, and taking out of myself to make the, them lower weights. And this allowed me to show that I can mix with the best no matter what weight. I feel like now myself I could probably move anywhere between 10 stone and 11 stone comfortably and mix in with the best fighters. I used to nap for hours in between sessions and stuff just because I was so tired and fatigued and just trying not to think about food. Whereas now I feel like full of energy, full of life. and coming into the gym and I can I can feel my concentration levels are there and like before I was tired before I even trained whereas now I just feel like I can keep going and working on stuff I'll do my session and then what thinking oh what extra could I work on I used to mainly focus on the weight and um, the best day for me uh, weighing day which it shouldn't be it should be it should be the fight night and whereas that's what I look forward to the most now is fight night and putting on a good show and a good performance for everyone She's not weight drained, uh, she's always in gym on a full tummy. We're in a weight making sport, but only boxers understand how hard it really is. Luckily for Terry, she's, she's had the opportunity to go up that many weight divisions and grow into it. So she's probably fighting at what she walks around at. She's feeling strong, she's feeling fit and she's doing all this not weight drained. All around I'm a great athlete and I'm very dedicated to the sport and uh, I put all into my training and I just I feel like people still aren't seeing the best version of me and this camp I've had, I've had a brilliant camp and brilliant spars and mentally as well uh, I'm improving as an athlete day in day out. It's been a long hard drag for her to realise how good she is and these past months and especially after the defeat I think she is realising how good she is and it's just understanding that you're here because you belong here and I'm starting to see that in her now. Terry's just learnt on the job. She's come from fighting as a junior, years out, and then all of a sudden presented on big stage and it's been a crazy roller coaster when we look back. She's just 26 year old, she's got all the experience in the world, she's been on the big stage, she's had that many world title fights, she's had a defeat, she's come back, she's gone up weights, she's struggled with weights, she's made weights, there's nothing she hasn't experienced, you know, and I just think she's fulfilling now and becoming whole and it's going to be, I think we're at that stage where we've come like this on the career and we're just getting to that where it's, we're going to be get up there and stay up there and cruise up there, that's, that's how I believe it's, it's panning out. Female to become undisputed, uh, hold all the belts, and um, I just know it'd be an honour to share a ring with someone who's done such great things for, for boxing and female boxing. She's got a lot of experience, and I feel like I've, I've learned a lot sharing the ring with her. Like I said, she's been the great, and that's what I want to be is the great. Also, I've built my way up, and that's it. We're there, and I truly believe uh, whoever I get in the ring with now, I be. I feel like I'll really be unstoppable now at this this heavier weight and and the confidence I've got with it. Well, she's a genuine world-class fighter, experience, and uh, anyone in boxing will tell you you can't buy experience, and she's got it in abundance. She's going to present a very hard task and probably tell his hardest fight, but it's nothing that she's not ready to be in. It's the opportunity to fight someone this good, this level, who everybody knows in female boxing. I'm expecting the best version of 
to see earlier on the night, but I truly believe my youth and my hunger, uh, I really need to use that as an advantage and um, just go on and put on a masterclass really. Just being strong and dominant from the start and not letting Cecilia get into a, into a rhythm and getting comfortable in the fight. I want to just keep the pressure there on her and again, like I said, use my youth and use my athleticism and, and my strength and just I just want to go out there and box well, box smart and um, just outwork her. I think Terry on a day can go and stop anyone. Terry's in the form of her life, one million percent. Terry's now at the best that I've ever seen, so it's going to be very exciting on May 20th.